there, sound sorcerers! Today's video is the last in this sample series. In this series, I collected audio from a variety of different places in order to create drum, bass, chord pad, and lead melody samples. I found my drum samples in a storm sewer and from various locations in New York City. I got the bass sample from a watering can and a plastic bucket. The chord pad I found using an electric toothbrush and an immersible blender. And finally, today's sample is the lead melody. I created this sample using three audio clips I recorded. An owl, a blue jay, and an airplane taxi down a runway. So without further ado, let's get into it! Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring in a track with the contact sampler on it. And we're going to call that Melody. There we go. Melody. Okay. And now we're going to put on this sampler our owl track right here. Let's go. There we go. And we're going to put in the Blue Jay track right below it. Okay. And then we're going to put in the airplane taxiing sound. All right. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put those all into Omni. Okay. So that they're all playing at the same time. And let's hear what they all sound like. These are obviously not tuned, so we're going to put in a reference track, a pitch track. We're going to put in FM8, and we're going to use a piano. Okay, so we need to pitch these to the piano. Okay. All right, so that's the owl. Mm. All right, but it's... The problem is it doesn't really start right. we got to give it a crisper start. And then we need to end it too. Okay. But I want the end to fade as part of the envelope. Okay, let's let's pick a better place. I want the end place to be more on a zero crossing so that it doesn't pop. Okay, and then let's use the the uh, envelope. That's sounding better. It still has an upward lift at the beginning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I think we should move that forward. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to bus one, put in a reverb. Um, let's see this reverb. Yeah, that's going to be just a snare uh, room. Okay, sounds good. And now let's go to the Blue Jay. <laughs> All right, we're going to fix that one. We're going to use a, a, a filter on that, a high pass filter. Okay. Now let's hear the, uh, the, pl the airplane, taxiing airplane. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, take off some of the bass, use a filter, and then an EQ. Okay, let's mess with the EQ a little bit here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. We're going to just put a little bit of a, a, com a uh, compressor on there to give it a little pop at the beginning. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put it on a bus because we have to do that to get a reverb. And we're going to use the snare room. We're going to adjust that a little. Okay. 
just tightening it up. Okay. So now we've got a pretty interesting uh, collection here. We're going to just uh, adjust the volumes a little. Oh, something sounding... Something sounding off. Let's let's work on that a little bit. All we want really is just the pretty much the click. That's sounding better. Oh, 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 please. That J is not right. Let's adjust the J. All right. So what we're trying to do is create a, like I said, all we want is just the, the pop of that J. Okay, now that owl sound. What we're trying to do with the owl and the J in particular is their pitches go up and down. They rise up and then they rise, then they slope down. So we gotta get rid of that rise and that slope. So we're just getting, yeah, so we're just getting that one uh, little bit in the middle. Okay. So now we're, we've recorded that and we're going to store it. And let's save it as the sample, the melody sample. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay, we're going to bring up the contact again. We don't need these tracks anymore because we've saved the sample. I don't need to go back um, in the interests of time. <laughs> We're just going to use the sample we created. And that sample is Melody. Boing! So now we've got the full Melody on here. There's a little too much low end still on that. So we're going to bring in the EQ and mess around with that a little bit. And we're now going to put a, a reverb on that, assign it to bus one. There we go. That's sounding pretty good. Okay, get that in the pitch. The right pitch. All right. Okay, so that's going to become now our new sample. Alright, trim it down. We've got a little bit of reverb on there. So that's about as long as the reverb tail is. So now we're going to save that. This is our new melody. Excellent. So that is saved and we have our sample. The sample is comprised of an owl, a blue jay, and a light plane taxiing. So we're gonna use that now in our song. And there she blows. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add the contact sampler. We're gonna add it above the pitch track and below the pad track. Bang, and we're going to put in the uh, melody. We need to pitch it. So it's been pitched. It's now in pitch. I got to be honest with you guys. I did not like the way it sounded last week. The, the pad and the bass, they just didn't sound like they were really in sync. So I made a little change so that they're better and it works better with the lead line I'm, li I'm listening to. So here we go. Okay. All right, so that's the new uh, rhythm pattern. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. We're gonna just doctor that up a little bit, uh, make it click. I want to add a delay 
to really make this lead line sing. So I'm going to uh, put in a stereo delay. Let's listen. That's kicking ass, man. That's really kicking ass. We're working on this now. Just making it sound good. And that, my friends, is a finished song track. We've done it. We've added all the tracks together. That sounds really cool. An owl, a blue jay, and an airplane taxiing on a runway. We turned those sounds into a slap and melody line and added it to our song. The song is pretty basic as far as songs go, but the idea was to show you how we can take audio that is not from a musical instrument, audio that is found in nature, like animal sounds, or trickling water, or rocks tumbling, or around the house, like a bucket, or a watering can, or an immersible blender, or industrial sounds, or sounds from machines, and create musical samples that you can use to create great music. There are no limits, and no rules, really. Just be creative. This concludes the first sample series, but I got many more videos coming. Stay tuned for tips on how to use plugins effectively, how to build a rockin' home studio, how to get back into playing and recording if you've been away for a while, and other creative, musical, and enlightening information. That is where you come in. I've got tons to show you, but I would love to get your feedback, your suggestions, questions, and anything else you would like to send in a message to me. Just go out to www.thesoundsculptor.com and leave a note. With that said, I will wrap up this edition of The Sound Sculptor, and I will see you next time. See ya!